Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, may have intended to send an invisible sign to Meghan Markle when she was absent from Prince Philip's funeral last month, a commentator has suggested. Kate was heavily praised for her somber appearance during the Duke of Edinburgh's funeral last month, with many fans and commentators saying she looked more than ready to take on the responsibility of becoming Queen. Commentator Jenny Eclair said the Duchess looked even more stunning than on her wedding day, and the comedian liked to think Kate was sending her sister, in law a hidden message with her unfaltering composure. Writing in a column for the Independent Ms. Eclair discussed how her opinion of Kate had gone up dramatically this year and said the Duchess had shifted into a new, more interesting Kate. The comedian said her interest in the royal was first peaked when she paid her respects to Sarah Everard in March and was even more impressed by how she composed herself at Prince Philip's funeral. She wrote, The next time Kate really caught my attention was at Prince Philip's funeral, where she appeared looking the best I've ever seen anyone look at a funeral, part soap opera diva slash part femme fatale, with a hint of a Daphne du Maurier character thrown into the mix. She looked even more stunning than on her wedding day. For those of us with a tendency to fabricate a narrative around a picture, there was a fanciful part of me that couldn't help imagining that Kate was sending the absent and heavily pregnant Meghan an invisible V-sign all the way from the steps of Windsor Castle to Los Angeles. Kate, it seems, isn't going to allow herself, William or her children to get walked over. She is fighting back. The Duchess of Sussex did not attend the Duke's funeral last month, as she was not given the go-ahead by her doctors. Meghan, 39, is heavily pregnant with her second child, and during her sit-down chat with Oprah Winfrey she revealed the baby girl is due in the summertime. In keeping with royal tradition, the couple has not shared their due date with the public but insiders say the Duchess is set to give birth in June. Prince Harry, the Queen's grandson, did fly back to the UK for the funeral. He made the trip a few days before the funeral, in order to comply with Covid travel restrictions. The Duke is understood to have received a frosty reception from other family members at the funeral. Princess Anne, Prince Edward, and Sophie, Countess of Wessex, are understood to have effectively ignored Harry when they reunited face, too, face for the first time in over a year. Talk radio host Kevin O'Sullivan discussed this and said, We read that Harry was shocked by the frosty reception he had got from some members of the royal family. Some literally turned their back on him. He was stunned by this, I'm not sure why that was a surprise to him. It must be occurring to him how frozen out he is, how he has turned his back on his former life. There is a suggestion that when he came back a few weeks ago, he was reminded of his old life.